Hi guys, it's Kat from So Sweet Charms and today I'm going to be bringing an actual supply haul, um, kind of small. The reason for it is I was looking for um, feed stores in my area and like you know we've just moved so we did find one. I saw it actually the first day we moved in, um, in here um, and I decided not to go to the store because we were doing a whole bunch of stuff and I don't think we had the time that I could remember back then. Um, but I did head out to them. They are, it's called the B-Store and Fashion Jewelry Outlets. Definitely, definitely check them out. Um, I was almost hesitant to go in because of the word fashion outlet. When I see that, I think of, I don't know, cheap jewelry and that kind of stuff and I don't like seeing all that stuff when I'm there to go to a bead store. Do you understand what I mean? Like, I don't know. I can't explain it. But as soon as you open the door, it did have the jewelry. The jewelry is nice, though. Don't get me wrong. The quality is okay. Uh, the products are really, really pretty. But it's the overall, when I see the word bead store, that's what I want to see. I want to walk in, I want to go into beads, I want to see the colors, the, you know, the wall of findings and all that kind of stuff. But right when I walked in, all I saw was the custom jewelry and I was like, mm, I don't want to see that because I was afraid it was going to be excessive amount of that. It did have a large amount on one side of the store, but the rest of the store, let me tell you, there is findings, there is beads, there is um, feathers trying to remember everything there is um like not necessarily clips but they are bringing hair clips but like bobby pins um rope tiger tail all that kind of stuff so definitely check them out i give them a double thumbs up they were fantastic super nice guy they have like uh, crystals, um, precious stones, like all sorts of stuff. So definitely check it out. Now, as you know, and I've always raved about Art and Bead about their prices. I still love Art and Bead. I love you, Toronto. But here I am in a different city. And I had to find something of comparability in terms of product as well as price. Now, I did go to a store that was closer to my house, um, and unfortunately, their prices are a little bit high, and they're located in a mall, and I think that's the reason why, um, that they're in a central mall, and I was like, oh, okay, if I really need it, I will go buy it, but I will drive out of my way to the northeast. I live in the northwest, so not that far, because we're central, and it takes us about 10, 10 minutes to go to anywhere. Um, or sometimes less. So this location is still close to my house, like I said at the beginning, um, because it is in the Northeast and it's super close. I love it. And I will definitely 110% be repurchasing with them. Their customer service, I believe his name is Adam. That's what it says on here. I don't necessarily know if that is, is, is his card, but if it is, he is super, super nice. I really enjoyed talking with him. Um, but I'll get to what I have here. Their bags come in these really pretty bags. I don't necessarily know if these are the standard bags. If they are, I like them. Thumbs up for that. Um, let me get into what I got. This is what their every package, like stuff like this, or any beads like in a package like this, I will get to what I got. Um, all have their red the bead store, which I think is a brilliant name. It explains itself. And then it has, of course, a standard choking hazard and 15 plus, which I've never seen that before, which I think is kind of cool. And you can see I got eye pins. These are in the silver. The only downside I can say in regards to these packaging compared to Artin beads, I wish I had a sample near me, um, but Artin's beads, it will tell you the what the product is, like it'll say eye pins. It will say what the material, if it's like nickel or plated or um, just steel or iron, whatever it is. They'll say the size and then the quantity that's in here. I'm not necessarily worried about what the number of the quantity is in here because 
that's a lot of quantity for me. Um, and that's the only default. I want to know exactly what product. So when I'm telling a customer or using a product I for like a friend or something and they have like they need nickel free, I want to be able to tell them, yeah, it's nickel free. I could ask Adam because he'll definitely tell me if it is nickel free or not. These particular ones I believe are. I think all the products that I got are. So this here, you can see the quantity, right? This is what freaked me out about shopping here. That's right, a dollar. I almost died. Now, I don't necessarily know, see how there's this five dash 45. I don't know if, because every product has like a different code on here. I don't know if that's more for them to know what they've sold. Um, and how to repurchase it, or if it has something to do with the size. I will find out about that, but it's a dollar. A do better than art and beans. A dollar. I'm going to say it again. A dollar. Like, I freaked out. Like, I looked at my husband, and I was like, what? Um, what I initially caught my eyes was they had micro beets, and it comes in this little container. They have different colors. This is two fifty. That's why I was like, oh, okay. This was the only thing I was going to purchase because I was like, eh, it's a regular bead store and their prices are unreal. But I thought this was a great price for micro beads and I'm going to be doing a charm out of this, probably the snow, clone, uh, snow cones or like the sugar candies. I'll get more to that in another video. But a dollar. <laughs> I can't stop saying it. It's a dollar. It's unreal. They do have other stores. They're the only one. Um, in the city, otherwise all the all the other locations are located in Ontario, unfortunately. And I wish I had known about them, because I would have went to shop and see what their prices are like. Uh, this particular one is located on 36th Street Northeast. Okay, all right. So, eye pins. That's what I purchased. A large quantity. The reason I purchased these is because I forgot all of my findings in Ontario. They're locked up in storage. Again, a whole bunch of, um, I can't remember what they're called, flat pins maybe, I can't remember the name, but you know, the ones with the little hammer end. Um, again, a dollar, love them. I got these guys. Like I said, I don't necessarily know the names of them. That's why I wish they were on the products. I might suggest them to them just so that it helps customers find it. But it's basically like a diamond back, you know, like with a prong setting. And again, a dollar for that amount. And I'm planning to use those on some of my um, bow charms. And then I got the double barrel or the double rings. I call them double barrel rings. I don't know why but I'm pretty sure it's just double jump rings, which it has the, the double finding so that they don't break out when you're putting on your charms. And again, a dollar for that amount. Unreal. A dollar again for your lo lobster claw. And again, I wish I, they had the sizes. Again, I'm not too sure, so I'll show you between these two products. You can see this one says 1-4 and that's 1-7. Um, the seven is larger, so I don't know if it's referring to millimeters. Maybe I will definitely find out about that. But here's the other package of lobster claws again, a dollar. There was these guys, not too many in there, but that was a dollar. And they are like um, a double ended here, I'll bring it out of the package double ended spike, I call it. So as you can see how it spikes down, it spikes up in the same direction. And it's just a rhinestone and it's a royal blue. And I just happened to pick these up because I thought it was a really pretty color. And to my amazement, my daughter has picture day, like spring picture day coming up tomorrow actually. And uh, the outfit she picked up from Justice because we still had some gift cards was like a royal blue color. So I did a bow for her hair and it just works like it worked out perfect. I picked up these guys. They're bobby pins, but they are the bobby pins like for, you know, like dance class for your buttons to hold them. I can't remember the name of them right now. Um, 
what they're called, but they're the ones that have, sorry guys, let me see if I can get it up higher. There we go, on the white wall behind me. Um, the double prong at the end here, and it has like these little wiggly lines. I think it's what holds the, 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 the bun in better. But this package, which is, there's quite a few of them in here. This was 99 cents. A dollar again. Okay. Continuing on with a dollar, I found these really neat sequences, which I've never seen sequins like this before. I love the color. I think it looks super cute on any project that you guys are doing. I'm going to use it on some of my bowls. I'm just trying to pull out what kind of looks like. It is kind of rounded, like domed. So I think you could use either end if you wanted to, but I just like how it has that rainbow color, multi-tone um, coloring to it. Really pretty, again, a dollar. And then I got single jump rings because I'm trying to fix one of my husband's uh, necklaces that he had broke. And this is a dollar and it is a thicker gauge. Again, I don't know if that's what it means, but 174 was this product code. And then the two, the two things that were $2 is because they are a larger quantity. It's rhinestones. Um, and again, I'm not too sure on the sizing of them. One's larger, one's smaller. They're not the super, super small ones. They're the larger ones because I want to use them for centers in both. That is basically it for the haul that I got at the bead store. Um, it came to about $16 because everything was a dollar. A couple of things were $2. Um, that's basically it, guys. I recommend the store, like I said, 110%. Check them out. Their prices are incredible. Their products are incredible. The colors of beads, everything that you can find there um, is wonderful. They even have like... Um, your pliers, cutters, uh, as well as E6000, um, and a whole bunch of other products. So definitely check them out, guys. I give them double thumbs up. If I can bring up my toes, which I probably could, but I won't, um, I would give them the thumbs up, toes up, everything. I will definitely check them out again. They're definitely worth the drive. Again, for me, it's not that far, but if you're living in the Southwest or anywhere else, I don't know if you can order online through them, um, you possibly could, but if you're in Ontario, they do have other locations. I don't know if they're called the bead store, but I'm pretty sure you can give them, look them up and, uh, they will direct you to the right place. Again, they're called the bead store fashion jewelry outlets, uh, located on 36th street Northeast. Check them out guys. Thanks for watching and you'll be seeing some more projects. Take care guys. Bye.